The BaseThinker system has its own internal storage. To add a new product, go to the Product and Product List tab. Select the green button, Add Product. We must define the name of the product. Let's enter Test Product. We define the inventory. In our case, it is BaseLinker Academy Inventory. In Category, choose Test Category 1. Producer. We can enter the SKU number. Determine the EAN number. and enter the weight of the product. In addition, we can specify the height, width, and length, which is useful for various packaging processes. During filling, the system automatically saves the draft. This is confirmed in the lower right corner. We can search for our drafts by filtering. So, let's move on to filtering products. Let's set the draft filter as yes. As you can see, our product has been found. The warehouse allows you to add your own fields. Let's move on to adding. Add additional fields with the green button. Let's call our supplementary field as country of production. We can choose the type and type of this field. Let's enter the text. Let's go to the list of products and return to the addition. We have our supplementary field. We can enter the country of production. For example, United Kingdom. Sales and storage. We define the price depending on the price groups. We can specify several prices. In our case, it is online sales and stationary sales. Below, we choose the VAT rate. In the section below, we have our warehouses listed. In this case, we can determine the product's stock status and its location in this warehouse. Similarly, we can fill the inventory in the second warehouse and the ability to also assign a location to a product. Let's enter location-1 here. In the section below, we can specify suppliers for our product. Suppliers can be defined in the settings. The system also allows you to track purchase prices. We have a price based on past deliveries or the additional cost of purchasing products. Let's move on to the next section, Descriptions. In the first field, we can redefine the product name. Below, we have the main product description. Additionally, we can define additional descriptions. We can use them, for example, in the Allegro template, eBay template. We have several such additional descriptions. We can also create additional fields. The next tab is Parameters. Here, we can define parameters for our product to facilitate the listing of products on a given marketplace. Due to the fact that each sales channel has mandatory parameters that we must add in order to list this product. Photos tab. Here we can upload photos from the computer or from a given link. In the Variants tab, we can extend the product, for example, with green. We can define our own SKU number and EAN number. Let's add more variants, such as orange. Also, let's define SKU EAN numbers here. 
and thus we have two variants for our product. An important point is that the main product takes the cumulative inventory from the variants created. The next tab is Channels Data. We can modify product fields for a given sales channel. For example, we have eBay. Here is our BL Academy, and we want our product name to be defined under eBay when listing it on eBay. In this way, we will have a modified product name when listing. Let's save. In this tab, we will have all the marketplaces we have connected to our base linker account. In addition, we can also define such fields for the online store. If the store integration allows you to transfer products from Baselinker to the store, then such fields can be modified and personalized to the store. Let's go to our created product. Let's change the filters. We can filter the product name here as Test. We set the filter. We have our product with two variants green and orange. As you can see, the inventory is complete. Here, the central warehouse is also the sum of both variants. We can edit the product in stock. We can edit the relationship between offers and the product, check reservations, history, duplicate, or delete. Here, we have a product creation log and a profile from which the product was created. Let's perform the product removal operation. We confirm deletion. The product has been removed.